Good evening, everybody. Sorry I'm half an hour late. I was watching something with the wife. Hello, Slayer. Good evening. How are we doing? Evening cycling. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Sorry I'm late by the way guys. Dyer, welcome to the stream. Happy Easter to you too, not that I uh, celebrate the uh, National Chocolate Eating Day, as it is supposed to be known. Mark? Uh, no, Dyer, I didn't. No. Oh, nice, Slayer. It actually works again now. It got disabled. Soldier Boy has left. Sorry, Soldier Boy, I only just saw you come in. Right, do the brakes release straight away, all the way? No, they don't. Great. I've got to spend 20 minutes resetting everything. Ugh. <laughs> well, I'm jealous, Dyer. Thanks for the host, Mark. Yes, I wish I could play Heavy Hall, to be honest, but PC ain't strong enough. One day when I get the new house sorted and everything like that, we'll get one. Cornish Gadget, welcome to the channel. Yeah, Dyer, I've, I've looked into them. They're very expensive. Very, very expensive. But what they are, when you could go to a, a smaller company that's just as reputable, according to Trustpilot, and save yourself like 600 quid for exactly the same PC. Bloody hell, you got more money than cents.
Oh, uh, Dyer, are you aware that you can use the stream deck um, with Train Sim World as your controller? Yeah, there's a script out there uh, which you can install for the stream deck. I, d I don't know anything about the stream deck of how it works or anything like that, but I do know that somebody has programmed it um, in the train sim world to act as a controller. Like they've written an interface and you can choose which button does what and stuff. Apparently it's very cool. Yeah, happy Easter for those that celebrate it. I personally am not one that celebrates it, but uh, I use it as a day to feed on chocolate eggs. The one day a year having a child is a bonus. Oh, and just so you all know, I'm suffering again with this head cold. Um, it's not a head cold, it's a sinus infection again. Woohoo! Lucky me. So, I will try and mute the mic when it gets a bit bad. So apologies if you hear me uh, coughing and spluttering and bits and pieces. Captain Ginger, welcome to the stream. Now I've realised why it stays on break level 2. Because the doors are open. I lock the doors. They go off fully. King Destroyer, welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping back again. I just want to say to everybody that's in the channel, thank you for your support. If you followed me yesterday to help me get to 200, it's now the push for 300. For April, we need 100 followers, more followers. a point, just need to change that. <laughs> don't get greedy. Well, a hundred a month, I don't think that's too greedy. Especially when you're the number one streamer of Train Sim World on Xbox One on Mixer every day. Oh, don't pull my leg, mate. Cool, you'd end up with a. Uh... Happy Easter, Mr. Destroyer. You'll end up with it in your hands. The way I'm feeling at the minute. Um, I started streaming three weeks before this came out. So. Um, two and a half months I think end of February when I finish working for a reputable high street retailer uh, what did I stream before TW, TSW, FIFA uh, Battlefield, PUBG And then all of you lovely fellows and fellow S's came with the release of Train Sim. So yeah, we're running a bus replacement rail service today, with it being Bank Holiday Weekend. And those of you that get the joke, 
fair play. I don't know why I keep thinking the camera's over there still. It's not, it's over there. Oh. So yeah, we're going to run this one down to Paddington. I don't know where we're stopping. Um, and then we'll probably pick up a 166. Do a little bit of running around the network. See you later, Destroyer. Thanks for popping by. Always good to have you in for a few moments. Get that viewer count up. Exactly, Dyer. But this is a rail replacement bus, a bus replacement rail service. Terro Martin, 92, welcome to the stream. So it's a play on words. We are running a train service instead of a bus service today, with it being Easter Sunday. Yes, Gadget, they are. They are working to fix that. But headlights are dark on British Railways. They're not to uh, aim to help you see in the dark. They are for other people to see you. Train drivers learn routes like the back of their hand. But they are addressing it because the cab lights are about as useful as a, a chocolate teapot, to be fair. They don't do anything, um, apart from illuminate the outside of your train. So, yes, they're going to fix that. I've had confirmation they're fixing that as well. Well, Shadow, welcome back to the stream, my man. Nice to have you back. Long time lurker. Wow, we're up to seven already. Oh, he's gone. Yes, there is a lot to come this year. Yeah, don't you worry guys, when the DLC drops I will have some codes. Probably preview it as well. Oh. Um, no cycling, I'm not doing that one again. <laughs> it was fun last night, but I'm not... Uh... Uh, well, the DLC was um, the New York one. Because Train Sim World is the base game, GWR is a DLC for the base game. I believe there will be one day train announcements on the PC, or on the train when you're sitting there. No, that's alright, King's Destroyer. That's okay. I got what you meant. I know how hard it is to type on an Xbox or a phone while witching. <laughs> yeah, so, Slayer, the Train Sim World is the base game. GWR is a DLC. And that's how it will be. Let's close up the doors, get ready for departure. Make sure we've got AWS on. Yep. DSD is on. We are engine is on. We are primed and ready to go. Uh, everything will come to Xbox One. No, no. Train Sim World is still the base game slayer. GWR is uh, the first content pack for it. Uh, so you'll see everything King Destroyer, um, with the exception of Heavy Hall, because Heavy Hall uses too much RAM uh, when they try to put it on Xbox. It's too RAM intensive, and you need like a hell of a lot to run it. So they're looking to optimize it for the future. We may get it, um, but they are looking at other freight operations, Xbox One and PC. 
I'd imagine we'll probably get like a British based freight service because it's a lot better than heavy haul. Like British freight operations are huge. Uh, yeah, you'll end up with more trains. You'll have class 70s, class 59s, class 66s. Uh, what else will you get? You'll get quite a lot. There will be more passengers um, once I optimise the engine a little bit more. Like I've said before in my streams, we're on build 47 for the Xbox One. PCs on 100 plus and they only had passengers added at uh, build 40. So there's still a little bit of optimization to do to be able to bring in more passengers. <laughs> uh, you will buy, have to buy the full game later in the year but you'll get 40% off of it if you own the Founders Edition from what I understand. That may change though. So build slayer is a term of where the game is at. So it's known as a version number in some companies, uh, but a build number tends to mean the the process has reached a point where it's ready for release. Um, so they give it a build number. So for example, uh, if you go into your manage games on your Xbox nowadays uh, and you go into a game and manage the game if you look in the top right hand corner it'll have what's called a version number and that could be 1.1.0.47 which I think is what train sim is um, so version 1 like the first one is it's number 1 means it's not beta which this is but it's not. And then the second number means the client version. Um, and then the number after that could be a sub-build, and then the number after that could be the, the build itself. Um, so basically it gives you an idea of how far along the game is. So if it's version 2, it's had a major overhaul. It's been drastically upgraded in its lifetime. So if you look at CODs and stuff, I think CODs, their game number in the manage game bit is different to the build number within the game because they update their game in the game, if that makes sense. They've got like a client in the base core engine. If you look at PUBG, um, that's still 0 point something, 0 0.6 point or something like that which means the game hasn't officially been released yet. Uh, am I looking forward to train sim running properly and smoothly and sexily? Yes, of course I am. Sorry, I just got to answer the wife a second. That's not what I typed. Damn phones and autocorrect. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really hoping that we can get stuff. I really want uh, August, I believe. August time, later this year. But again, that's subject to change at any time. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to what the future holds for the game. It'd be interesting to see what DLCs we get. But I'm just happy that we've got a a train sim. To be fair. Skullster, welcome to the stream. Uppish Bobcat, oh you've come and gone. 
Malcott, welcome back to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, the biggest thing for me though at the moment, guys, is getting the 4K and the uh, Xbox One X enhanced stuff from Dovetail. And getting the draw distance improved so that you can see two or three signals down the line from zooming the, the stuff like you can on PC. Hi Malcott, welcome to the stream again, nice to have you here. Again, I think that's a limitation of the console slayer. I think that's going to be their excuse. Until they optimise the engine. Because the further you draw in the distance, the more stress you're putting on the console. Just got to process it. Uh, save up, man. Well worth it. I'm glad I got one, to be fair. It even improves stuff if you don't have a 4K TV, it still looks great on a 1080p. Uppish Bobcat and Givian P, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. You join us on our bus replacement rail service to Reading. I'm guessing Dyer's not feeling the love tonight. Is the stream running okay this evening, by the way, guys? I've been doing a little bit of networking work today. Updating a few bits and pieces, doing a few bob bits and bobs. Doing all those things you don't get time to do normally. They must be done on Easter Sunday, when nothing is open. Thank you, welcome back Dyer. Been in and out more times than a prostitute. On a street corner. Yet we're a fast train now, just building up our speed as we go through the Ealing Broadway now. No, uh, the Xbox X is their final uh, delve into the gaming console. It says you've left, Dyer. They won't be if they do do another Xbox. It won't be until a year after the PS5, and they don't even know when the PS5 is coming out yet. You may do, but I don't think it'll be called an Xbox. It'll be some sort of modular PC. to build and design consoles, it's not so hard to build and design a modular based system. Yeah, it's something along those lines, slower. If you built a modular PC based one under the Xbox brand, you'd probably make a lot more money, in my opinion. Having worked in the games industry at a retail level, seen how much PC gaming takes a, a 4 -o. If you had an Xbox that was built to a core level and you could chip and change the 
bits and pieces and it just ran in PC games or Steam like a very very modular Steam box for example I would probably go for that over a games console if I'm honest where games manufacturers have to make sure it runs on that, that Steam box I know that was muted years ago that they were going to create something with Alienware and stuff but Alienwares are just too pricey but you create a box that I buy you make me a box that I can then go out and buy an upgraded graphics card for it if I wanted to I know that's kind of a PC bit, but easy install, not like I have to touch the motherboard, I just slot it in and it works. You know what I mean? Like, I take off the old one, I put the new one in. No installing stuff. If it don't work, I just go take it back to the shop and say, that don't work, and I get a different unit and I slap that in and see. That would be something that I'd be interested in doing if it ran Steam and it it did everything that I needed it to do and had a controller and a keyboard. if the developers of that said right this is the base one this is the one that people are going to buy your game has to run on this and then you got the modular components and you can then the game automatically scales to the hardware that it's got does that make sense guys like an intelligent an intelligent client that will go to the maximum of the, the hardware so I know Apple have released uh, in the latest build of High Sierra external GPU support which obviously indicates that there's going to be some external GPUs from Nvidia and AMD that will work with Apple hardware either through Firewire or USB 3 or something which I find quite intriguing. I think people like Mixer and Twitch are missing a huge market for like a streaming PC or a streaming box. I think there's a gap in the market for creating a box that you can plug in. Like you take the HDMI, I know there's Elgato and stuff like that, but you still need a PC for Elgato. I still think there's a bit of the market that create the box, plug into the screen like your monitor and stuff but its sole purpose is to do overlays and stuff and stream it I think if Mixer or Twitch developed one of those it'd help out streamers so that you didn't have to have another £1500 PC to do your overlays and stuff like that there's enough of these companies out there now that make the like that will host um frames and stuff like that where you can design your design your overlays and stuff and then they remotely host them and you just paste the link into your own streaming software and it overlays them you create a box that 
can manage all of that for you from one bit. <laughs> yeah, I would Slayer as well, because I don't agree with having to have two PCs to do it. You'd probably be looking at um, play, paying another twenty four ninety nine for it. Bullish. So in theory you'll be paying £50 for the full product. But you'll get the full product at twenty four ninety nine. And somebody that didn't buy the Founders Edition would pay forty nine ninety nine for it. Something along those lines. Uh, depends on what they release in the final version. I'm imagining we'll probably pay 15 quid for it. No, because it'll come with all of the core DLCs in it. And then it'll be afterwards that you pay for extra DLC. And they'll do us, they should do some sort of season pass or something, I'd imagine. Mooney, welcome to the stream. The, the season pass doesn't fit in with the, the dovetail model. You'd probably find they do like a Forza style thing, where you'll have the train pass, which gives you access to four train packs throughout the year for various different routes that you'll already have. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. And then you'll get a DLC season pass, which will give you access to new routes. And things like that. That's how I think they're going to go. But again, I don't know nothing. But like we spoke about the other day, I think what you're going to find is they will do updates for everybody, even if you don't buy the DLC. And then there will be, it'll be in the game, so say for example we're doing this route here. Truly Mr Biggie, welcome to the stream. Uh, we'll be doing this route here on a 387 or an 800, 800 will come the opposite direction. You'll think, oh, I haven't seen that train before. You'll go and then be able to ride that train as a passenger, but you won't be able to drive it. And then if you want to drive it, you have to pay to unlock it if you don't have the relevant pass. And that's how they'll make their money that way. And once you've bought it, you can drive it for eternity. Which I think we agreed was quite a good way to do stuff for people that weren't sure on it. Still let them see it in the game, still let them... Uh, I'm not sure who the do CEO of Dovetail is. Why, are you going to write him an email with all my ideas, you little tea leaf? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he watches this stream, to be fair anonymously because we do have quite a high anonymous view account in the UK yeah they are dire and in Sterling up north you could be him but I doubt it Mad Bruiser welcome to the stream we're going to be well early for this unless we're going to be stuck at a signal for a little while Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, their development costs are quite high though, Slayer. Well, you got to think they're developing four games. Two, or they're technically developing two games that are exactly the same on two different engines. They're in theory making four games. You've got Flight Sim X, Flight Sim World, Train Sim World, and uh, Train Simulator. 
you're in theory doubling your workload. But it's all about bringing them in line and a better engine and a more. Uh, it quite possibly could be. It is a Microsoft product after all. Sniper Shanty, welcome back. Well, Train Simulator that you play used to be Microsoft Train Simulator. Flight Sim that you play is Microsoft Flight Simulator. They bought the game, like they were brought in to develop them for Microsoft. And then Microsoft decided that they weren't going to make games anymore. And gave the IPs to, to Dovetail. But Dovetail was called something else back then. I can't remember what it was called. And I do know that Steve Hood, who is the executive producer on Flight Sim World, uh, Dovetail did pay for him to take his pilot's license. And I do believe he can fly anything up to a Learjet now. And they paid for that. We haven't been able to hit 125 this afternoon or this evening. <laughs> Chris Cortex, welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping by. Make sure you visit the buffet car on our bus replacement rail service this evening. A selection of drinks and light refreshments are available. But the buffet will be closing shortly as we will be arriving at Reading. You fat nat, you'll be lucky. They'll be closed by now, mate. It's Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday's like Christmas Day. Everything shuts. Damn. That's some serious dominoes, people. You've got your way, then. All the ones around here are closed. Even the kebab shops are closed. All I'm going to say is they obviously don't celebrate Easter. Speak to one eyed slayer, please. I 
I don't even know how you managed to get that name through Microsoft. Which area are you in, Dyer? the racial undertones. You'd be next for saying you're a yid. I love the fact that you just said you're a yid and it's asking you for money. My bot's asking you for money. I do apologise for the racist <laughs> bot. <laughs> Not my fault. I didn't program him to do that. He's just done that of his own free will. Raged Acorn, welcome to the stream. As you join us in a heated debate about... Gunners versus uh, Spurs. Yeah, I did nearly say it. <laughs> oh dear. We are currently on the HST, class 43, which we are now going to be getting kicked off of. Yeah, Acorn, um, I play this game every day for a couple of hours on stream. Hence why my level's so high. Right guys, I'll be right back. I just need to go get some tissues for this bloody nose. Back in a sec. That engine's not running. Thanks for the follow, Raged. If you miss a stream, we do uh, back them up onto uh, YouTube. You're gone. Alright. Have we got anything coming in? All going out. There's nothing in the depot there. Nothing there. 
We have got something over there. Let's see if we can go down there, shall we? Might have to walk down and pick it up, Slayer. Yeah, the carriages sit on bogeys that come fresh out of my nose and straight to the Derby works. At the moment. You leave the, you leave the traditional student life slayer, I must admit, ordering dominoes at 10 o'clock at night. Guessing you're staying up late as you had a sleep this afternoon. <laughs> to be fair though, I could murder a barbecue meat feast. With chicken strippers. Potato wedges. Oh, that's cheery. Oh, there's a freight train coming. Oh, is that HST? Oh, it's HST. Coming up from uh, wherever that goes. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Two HSTs passing each other. You unlucky little boy. What time are they delivering my pizza, Slayer? I know you've ordered it for me. <laughs> Look, I had to put an age-restricted blimmin' thing on my YouTube video today for last night's conversation. Let's not go there again.
How the hell are you got on this train, mate? Or love? Whatever you are. What are you doing on here? Fair dodger. Creepy man that decided not to sit next to a window in an empty train. Jari Polcat, welcome to the stream. Uh, we are going to uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Need to just get the mortgage offer in writing so that we can make the offer and then put ours on the market to sell it. Just the best part of 360,000. <laughs> Lisa, welcome to the channel. Thanks for popping by. Uh, three, well, four technically, but one's going to be a streaming studio and games room. <laughs> Two bedrooms have got en suites, four bathrooms, including the two en suites. Uh, kitchen dining room downstairs, it's a townhouse, so it's three levels. Lounge on the middle floor with uh, our daughter's room. And then upstairs. Yeah, but you live in West London, in like. Quite, you, you're practically on, in still in what they call the centre. Wow, evening everybody that just joined. Yeah, there's a reason it's expensive where you live, because people have money, Dyer. They drive around in gold cars. Well, it might not be gold cars anymore, it's normally a Volvo, though. Hello Wax Destinator, thank you for fo uh, popping in. How is Italy? Nice and snowy still? Oh, whoops. Wow, it's busy in this Reading station. Are you an orthodox tight arse dyer? Or are you just a Tottenham fan? Really? That's interesting. How many wives have you got? <laughs> uh, that won't go. That won't do. 
Skullster, thanks for following us. Dampfer, thank you for the sh follow. <laughs> God knows why. It's horrible. Salt Lake City is like the hottest place on earth in the summer, coldest place in the world in the winter. Whoa, who's inviting me to co stream? I don't know who's just asked me. There's a very good um, audio book um, that's read by Stephen Fryer, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Um, and if you read a study, is it a study in Scarlet? If you listen to that, that's about the uh, Mormons and Mormonism and what happened with the founding of Salt Lake City. Really good story. Really, really interesting. It plays a part of the what happens in the English bit, but there's a whole <laughs> couple of chapters on um, what happened in America for the people to come to the UK. Hobo Knight. Oh, Hoboki Knight. Welcome to the stream. Gigil Zarud. Welcome to the stream. Have you, um, what, the Elder Brothers in Salt Lake City, or? Oh, yes. Sign of four. Seven of nine. What if you only got one wife? Because uh, if I had more than one, I'd be a dead man. I wouldn't be able to keep up with all their needs. Well, congratulations on your upcoming marriage, Dyer. Oh, Mormons can have as many wives as they can keep. I think that's the rules. They can have as many wives as they like as long as they can provide for them all. E equally. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously they can't in the UK because it goes against the law. But, Dyer, as he said, Salt Lake City, they, the law is accommodating to their, their faith. May the Lord that you believe in die bring luck to you and your family. You have to be quite careful, Slayer, because it's still, although it's a mainstream religion in America, it's still quite small here in the UK, from what I understand. And some sociology people get the ump, take offence to being asked about the Mormons. They lead a very, is it a very simple life, Dyer, in Salt Lake City? It's like very old school, isn't it? Very traditional. Like mobile phones they don't have. Is that the Mormons? They drive around in awesome traps and have funny beards and stuff, like the Dyards. 
Okay, cycling. I could be wrong with that one though. Oh, that's the Amish, yeah. That's the Amish, yeah. There, cool. I always remember watching that Louis Farou episode. When he spent some time with the Amish. Got to be careful of those, Slayer. Not that I've got anything against it, and I'm fully for equal rights and equal stuff for women. Yes, females are smarter than males in some things. Do you abide by that, Dyer? No, I don't smoke and I only drink occasionally. Like you guys watch me drink my first alcoholic drink for about a month yesterday. <laughs> Keeping the body clean and pure, Slayer, I think is the uh, Mormon way. It's like anybody that watches the fi or has watched the film SWAT with uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Colin Farrell. The guy in the gun cage um, cheats on his wife with fast food and a Dr. Pepper. Well played, Cycling. How long have you been off the fags? I'm Tyler, 0323, welcome to the stream. See, now I don't agree with that, Dyer. I massively don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't agree with that. You having to do that. I, get, I fully understand your religion. I fully respect your... And I'm imagining the church helped you out. And put you back on your feet. Oh yeah, no, no, I fully respect the church if they do that with it, but if you look at Christianity and certain branches of Christianity where a similar thing happens and it just lines some pastor's pocket and he drives around in the top of the range Mercedes, if that's what they, that massive percentage of your wages does, then yeah, that's good. You're not paying for your church elder to drive around in a Blinged up Mercedes C class with uh, diamond encrusted. No, 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 I fully get you, Dyer. I fully get what you're saying. No, 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 I think that's a very noble thing for you to do is to, we we'll say, donate your, your salary to the church. That's a, a very noble thing to do in this day and age when everybody thinks for themselves looks after nothing but number one
<laughs> no, no, I don't know. No, no, but what I'm getting at, Dyer, is in Christianity there are certain branches of Christianity that come from the Southern Hemisphere that have these radical views and they ask for their their followers and their, their congregation to donate all this money like you do out of your salary your money that you give to your church gets put back into the community by helping people that are less advantaged they put their money into the church and it goes to line in somebody's pocket does that make sense? you get what part of the world and part of Christianity I'm referring to Oh, well, cool, cool. And then you've got the other side of Christianity, which is the original side of Christianity that just uses it to cover things up. Has anybody seen Three Billboards outside of that Three Billboards film? Oh, there's a scene in that um, in regards to a Catholic priest has entered the one of the main character's house um, and is asking this main character to do something that she's to undo what she's done, and she goes off on this big rant about the Catholic Church, which is pure brilliance, to be fair, because it it really sums up. Catholic Church and again I'm not I'm I'm non-religious I don't believe in any faith or or religion or anything like that but that's just my own personal thing but it's a, an absolutely brilliant comparison of um, the Catholic Church being sort of no I don't believe in God Slayer I'm more of the Stephen Hawking um beliefs but that, that's me personally um, we're all like we like we've said we're all entitled to our own views and yes I'm C of E I was baptized as C of E but do I practice religion no do I believe in God now that I'm older no when I was younger I went to Sunday school and did all of the Bible studies and everything like that but as I grew older and got my own brain, I decided that it wasn't for me. Yeah, I don't believe that when we die that that's it, it's game over. Insert coin to continue type thing. But there's... there's You don't. I. I. My. It's not belief because I don't have any beliefs. But I would like to think that when we die, that we we go somewhere and carry on something. But I'm not a believer that you go and see some Peter at the pearly gates. Yeah, we probably do die. But uh, again, in my eyes, religion has been the creator of all wars. If you look back over every major conflict since 1400, it's always been about religion and people's beliefs. And if it, if if there is a an almighty being, so to speak. Uh, yeah, World War One and World War Two were both caused by religion. Uh, World War One was to do with the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Slavic states falling out, and one person assassinated another person, and then it became ethnic cleansing. That's why everybody else got involved because of the alliances that there was. And World War Two, well, do you really need me to explain World War Two? Oh, 
Poff9, welcome to the stream. It wasn't technically cleansing of the Jewish to begin with. It was just cleansing of anybody that wasn't the master race, as it were. It then got a little bit personal towards the Jewish faith and the Jewish people when somebody gave up smoking crack and started using something a lot harder. Yeah, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was a huge cause for World War One because he was the one that was assassinated, but because he was assassinated by a Slav, they then decided to start rounding everybody up that was a Slav and stuff, and it got all a bit naughty. You say the Muslims and the Kurds, Dio, it's not really the Muslims and the Kurds, it's the Sunnis and the Shiites, which is the problem. Anyway, we're due to start this service in a minute, guys. Do we want to continue the religious debate and the learning lessons, or shall I drive a train? Yeah, it's Muslim infighting. I don't have an opinion on the YPG because I don't really get involved in the Middle East. It's a messy affair, the Middle East Slayer. And you got to be careful what you say and who you say it to. In my opinion. Otherwise you'll end up like that Russian spy in Salisbury. Anyway, let's get off the religious stuff. While it is a fascinating topic of conversation, the viewer numbers plummeted. So who in the uh, who's left in the stream that has Sea of Thieves? Exactly, Dyer. That's what I'm trying to promote in this channel is positivity, positivity, positivity. I don't judge people on creed, colour, religion or anything. If you're an arsehole, you're an arsehole. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. You'll always be an arsehole. If you're going to be an arsehole in my channel, you can uh, get the fuck out. Is it coming? What is it? A human? Is it a human thing? And it's coming. You should say your dominoes is arriving. Sexualizing food is not good, Slayer. Doesn't give the right outlook on life for the younger generation if food is coming. I don't want to know what you do. Is it the whole American Pie thing, wrapping it round your uh, bits and pieces for it, for the pleasure? See now, I grew up with that film, American Pie, the funniest film I watched. I was a sixteen-year-old when that came out. Man, what a film! And we'd all done saying naughty to some food implement. Should I watch it? Hell yeah. It's a rite of passage. you got to watch it in order though. American Pie 1, 2 and 3. Don't watch any of the others, they're rubbish. But the original three. The original trilogy were the best. C 
so, so funny. This one time, at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. Like, what on earth would... Why? <laughs> oh, red signal. Sniper Shanty, welcome back. Oh, have we found another little good service here? We've got ten minutes to get to Twyford. We're going to be sat at a red light for a little while. Woo! Where else will we get stuck? What, you don't want to think about having sex with your pizza? Well, I don't blame you, to be fair. Pizza is for eating, not for making love to. Uh, I have no idea. You're better off looking in the uh, Xbox guide as to what I'm driving. It's quicker and it's easier than me trying to figure it out. As my sinus is killing me at the minute. Oh, it looks like we're due to leave here at 18 minutes past, just sitting and idling at the platform. Is it 2 Papa 3 9? You want an Izzy? What, you want an Eddie Izzard? Die in peace, welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping by. Wow, this conversation this evening has been one of the best we've had in chat, but one of the most controversial. Oh, I love you guys. Always interesting, always entertaining. Yeah, yesterday was crazy too. I can't even really remember what we talk, talked about. Oh, thanks, Die in Peace. Good afternoon. Yeah, there. Hi, Task Manager. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we should be green in about a minute's time. <laughs> well, I do try, Die. I'm South London born and bred. South London. No, there's nothing extreme about yesterday, Slayer. It was just the hot topics. Uh, a little place called Bexley. I now live in Essex. 20 minutes from the only way is Essex. I hate living 20 minutes from Brentwood, even though I got married in Brentwood. Luckily it wasn't while they were filming Towie, because my dad ended up in Sugar Hut on my wedding night. Posh Toff? No. Blue Cross? Don't you mean Blue Water? You're thinking of Brent Cross. Call the 96 to Blue Water. Blimey, O'Reilly. It's going to take me back.
Do you know that bus route has the highest mortality rate in London? More people have died on that bus route than any other. <laughs> Christ, you don't watch them crap, Slayer. Was it like a sea movie with like Danny Dyer in it and Michelle Ryan? Alright, geez. Let's go down Blue Cross, yeah? Oh. Sounds awful. Was it low budget? Oh. That's low budget then. Careful, you don't want to get done for treason, Slayer. GCHQ is watching, my man. GCHQ is watching. <laughs> to be fair, though, Harry has done well there. Rusty Rivets, welcome to the stream. What pizza did you go for, by the way, Slayer? What toppings? Please tell me you went for a barbecue meat feast or a meteor. You only ordered it five minutes ago. How can you forget what you ordered? Are you 90? Suffering from Alzheimer's or something? You remember to go to the toilet today, Slayer? No, that's very true, Dying Peace. I forget my name all the time. Oh, yes, well played, sir. <coughs> Although I can't eat Domino's pizza. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, I'm going to have to go and raid the cupboards in a minute. Yep, yeah, do like a good KFC. Typical student. Typical student. As a voucher for everything. No wonder this country has an obesity crisis. And don't say you're a growing lad, Slayer. I used to keep my, my calorie intake up so that I grow properly. 
Yeah, see? I can lend you a few pounds if you want some, mate. I'm carrying enough. Guy in peace, thanks for following. You've, you've joined us on a bizarre night, Guy in peace. To be fair, the, the topics of conversation have been different, to say the least. I'm putting it down to my painkillers, but I don't know what Dyer and Slayer's reasons for it are. Yeah, he's probably got about 20 pizzas to deliver. He's the only driver on. Right, double that and add two, that's how heavy I Oh no, double it and add one, that's how heavy I am. Oh, you're 24 stone? Wow. I thought, oh, wow. Or you drive an X3. I'm 17. Heaviest I've been is 20. Coward Flunky, welcome to the stream. Eyeball Stew, welcome to the stream. Good to have you back, my man. I used to be 14 at my prime when I was a policeman. Running 11 second 100 metres. Yarp. Oh, this was twenty years. Da, da, da. Sixteen, sixteen years ago this year. No. Didn't have them back in my day. Uh, medically retired after six years of service. Right, eyeball. Wesley 1908, welcome to the stream. Mr. 69R for you. Great name. 
Welcome to the stream. You can just see a green screen at the moment, that's your mixer's crashed. Restart your mixer, client. Whether it be the website or the uh, Xbox app. I'm nowhere near your house, I've only just left Twyford. Oh, the pizza. Blimmin' hell, Dyer. That's a bit extreme. You had a full-on refit. That's like going down quick fit and having a full on gearbox exhaust and fuel tank refit. Fair play, man. Hope you're uh, on the road to recovery. Because that's some serious. That's a serious full body overhaul, that. Wow. So you should drink fizzy drinks, mate. They save your life. Yeah, this dude. Welcome to the stream. Ah, oh, Kingslayer's Pizza's here. He's left. Shuffing in his Texas barbecue. Yeah, it's going good, my man. It's going good. Why is that still popping up? Oh wow. Well you used to take a lot of it. Uh, this game is good. Um, get this. Get at this, dude. It's um, a work in progress. Would be the best way of. Uh, it's a work in progress. Very good, but it's a work in progress. Your twenty four ninety nine to buy this game is investing in future content and stuff like that. Yeah, it sounds quite painful if I'm honest, Dyer. Split decision, Sniper Shanty, welcome back to the stream. Yes, that's correct, get get at this dude, it is a train simulator. Um, <clears throat> so you're driving trains, driving freight, driving passenger, from one point to another. <laughs> Yeah. 
Welcome back, pizza boy. Your pizza's cold. Oh. That's not good. I, I demand he goes back and picks them up, mate. Yeah, they all work. Get out of this, dude. They all work. Dominoes for you. Fishboy34, welcome to the stream. Oh wow, it's raining. Yeah, I'd raise a complaint with uh, their customer services team, Slayer, and get your money back. No point ordering a pizza if it turns up cold. Oh. I might have some chicken nuggets in the oven in a minute. Plaster it all over social media, put it on Twitter, tag them in it. Something along the lines of when I order a pizza from at Domino's UK, I expect it to arrive hot and edible. I also do a customer complaint form on their website. <laughs> Cheers, get out of this dude, thanks very much. Any problems, questions or queries do pop back in and see us and ask, we will help you out in this channel. If we aren't having a debate about religion or anything like that.
Welcome back, Destroyer. Right, back in a second guys. Oh, this has been a lovely run up into Paddington. I'm guessing that's where we're going. Oh, you hit the Y button. Uh, you cannot turn them off cycling but you can turn them on yeah you hit the Y button when you're in external and then the back controller turns to a drone and you can move about
Yeah, give me a second, destroyer. Let me just get in the station and I'll I'll show you. So you go to, you push down on the right stick, go to external cameras, rear boom, front, free, whatever you want to go to. You hit the Y button so that the fat controller down there on the speedometer goes to, um, goes to the drone and then you can just move it around. Right stick, left stick and the trigger. Damn, that was quick, Slayer. Did you actually chew the pizza or do you just fold it into your mouth? Uh, possibly King Destroyer. <laughs> but um, you're here all week, Dyer. <laughs> yeah, I do like the free camera now that you can uh, do some more bits and pieces. I don't think you're going to get a lifetime supply of Domino's for one cold pizza and no wings.
Yes, King's Destroyer, there will be, yeah. They're working on getting the uh, digital displays working. And then when multiplayer comes out later in the year, there will also be, obviously, human error delays that they'll have to account for. Because Slayer will fall asleep and then wake up late to drive his train when we're all doing it. It'll hold up the whole network. I'll tell you what, I'd get the ump if I was waiting on you, Slayer. Uh, there isn't at the moment, Dyer, but Dovetail Games are actually building it into Train Sim World. They're actually building a whole multiplayer component. comment on that King's Destroyer, I'm not sure. You can always do them yourself. Might be the first sign of madness though if you start doing that. Oh, excuse me. been too busy watching the stream. Waving rabbit and welcome to the stream. <laughs> Whoops. Just cancel the service at the next station, Dyer. That's what most train operating companies would do. Interesting, where's that then? Aha, there it is. It's alright on the Xbox One X, so it's just me spazzing out on the controls. Yeah, we're live. Hello, Waving Rabbit 999. Yes, there is a donation system. You've got Monzo, you've got Streamlabs, and you've got PayPal. Uh, if you type in exclamation mark support, it should give you the links. <laughs> I think it is, anyway. I 
I'm not that good. They're set up King Destroyer, I just can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Because it's auto done. It automatically... Uh, Yes, it is awesome, Waving Rabbit. Agent Gill 96, welcome to the stream. Goodbye, Wayne. thank you for visiting. It's Briar, B R Y E R. Yeah, I've got Streamlabs. I don't agree with their fees, though, hence why I've set up a Monzo and a PayPal, even though PayPal pull my trousers down for fees. Monzo straight into my bank account. What, Streamlabs? I think they take like 3%. So you donate $5, I get $3. <laughs> Unbelievable, Slayer. Uh, when I get to Paddington, guys, that will probably be it for this evening, if I'm honest. My face is uh, absolutely killing me. Yeah, well, well, we've just passed the two-hour mark, so... But I may come back on something else in a minute. Afterwards. Maybe do some Sea of Thieves or Far Cry 5.
He's got wings. I'm thinking Sea of Thieves, to be honest. Fancy just relaxing, going and sailing. Get my pirate on. Probably because they've been sat in the they've been shop for ages. <laughs> this game I'm probably rating about a seven at the moment. Just because it's a enjoyable experience. Excuse me. Yeah, Sea of Thieves is best played with friends. <laughs> but you've got to be a really good bunch of friends that can take each shouting at each other. Because it does get a bit heated. Then you're going to struggle. You can you can do a sloop on your own, but uh, then you're cheating, waving rabbit. If you keep AWS off. Yes, it is waving rabbit. Automatic warning system. If you're playing the game without AWS on, in theory you are cheating. AWS is what protects the train from people just ploughing through. Yeah, of course it's easier. Because you haven't got to worry about speed limits and signals and paying attention. You just put it in go and go and then you stop at the stations. It's a lot more enjoyable if you drive the drive the trains out they're supposed to be driven with AWS on it's a lot more realistic actually gives you something to do when you're driving is having to acknowledge that the alarm's going to go off and that if you don't actually hit the B button that the train will grind to a halt I 
I mean, every time you kill a person in the game, you kill a kitten in real life, waving rabbit. Every red signal you go through, a kitten will die. Every failed alarm button push and speed limit you avoid, a real kitten will die. If you can have that on your conscience, then koch, bigger man than me, or woman. Getting like a bit of like Monty Python and the life of Brian with this, man or woman. I'm kidding with you waving. You play the game how you want to play it. <laughs> but it does give you a lot more to do while driving a train with it on. Makes the journeys much more entertaining. Especially if your name's Kingslayer, who forgets to push his AWS. And it has to sit there for three minutes while it reboots. This evening or in general? Oh, that's no good. Why has that screen turned itself off? It's not supposed to. In general, I've been playing train sims for about six, seven years. This particular game since it came out in March on the Xbox One. And my community service. No, I've never been convicted of a crime before in my life, so I'm not doing community service. Yeah, cheers, Dyer. Thanks for popping in. Inter great stream. Great conversation. We're out the stream this evening. Thank you very much for that. going to call you the million dollar man from now on. Bugs Bunny.
Yeah, Slayer, this will be the last one for this evening. Of the bus replacement rail service. Might actually go and get some sleep after this. My face is like agony. <sighs> Excuse me. Right. Let's wait to close these doors and then that shall be it for this evening's stream. I'd like to thank you all for coming out in force again. Thank you very much for the interesting conversations that we've had throughout the stream. And if you have missed it, make sure you search Briar Gaming on YouTube. It'll be up in a couple of hours. Um, you can always watch it vo video on demand on Mixer. Um, and be sure to follow the channel if you like what you've seen this evening. Uh, yes, Waving Rabbits, I am done. It's quarter to midnight here in the UK, and I've done my two hours. Uh, which tends to be my stream length. And I'm not feeling particularly well either, so... So yeah, have a good one guys, and I shall see you on tomorrow, as it's a bank holiday weekend, um, there'll probably be a fun-filled, entertaining one, but uh, yeah, see you soon guys, take care, have a good one.